part two. <laughs> I'll tell you why the video was stopped. When I upload the video, then you'll be able to read in the des description box why it's in two parts. I'm a bit embarrassed because it's very unprofessional, but it wasn't my fault. I blame my daughter. But I'll tell you the full story, the full reason in the description box. Alright, the tagine is more or less cooked now. I'm just going to add the two, and I'll turn the camera down so you can see it. Now, it's cooked. It's reduced um, quite well. Not too much liquid in it. And now I'm going to put some tomato puree in. Not a lot this time. I think two tablespoons is too much. I'm just going to follow my eye and just guess, guess, guesstimate. <clears throat> there. That's about a tablespoon I think I put in there. I'll just put the heat back on. I won't be serving this until about five o'clock or half five. So I'll just warm it up gently and have it with couscous, but my daughter will be having rice because she's got celiac disease. So I'm just going to give that a mix. I'll just cook that for a little while. I'm not going to add any water though. Mm, maybe a little bit. But the tomato puree is a thickener. So it's going to thicken up even more. So I might just add a drop of water. Just a splash. I haven't got a very good sense of smell at the moment. I think my sinus has been blocked for about a year. It smells quite fruity actually, but that's all I can smell really. I'll tell you how it tasted in the, in when I upload the video. I mean, I was honest about the lamb tagine, I hated it. But my partner loved it. So remember, there's no cinnamon in this and no saffron. Okay, I'm going to add the olives as well. I'm just going to put the whole packet in. I'm not going to chop them up or anything. You get quite a lot in a packet anyway. So you don't need to add salt. I'm just bubbling away. Just a gentle bubble is all I want. Gonna throw the olives in. Kalamata olives, my favourite. Very fruity. You can add obviously any olives you like. And if you don't like olives, obviously leave them out. Yeah, olives are like marmite. Some people love them, some people hate them. But I've loved olives since I was a child. Where's that? There. I'll give you another glimpse and then I'm going to end the video, the short video, the second part. There. I hope it comes out better than what it looks like at the moment because it looks like a brownie grey colour. But it's orange, alright? It's orange. I'll just let that cook for a little while. And reduce a little bit. Oh, and I'll just, no, I don't need the pepper, no. Don't need the pepper. There. I think I'll just turn the camera up so I'll say goodbye to you. Now, again, I'm sorry this video's in two parts. It looks very unprofessional. I've only got Clipchamp as an editor. And you can only export videos that are 10 minutes or less. I can't download a proper editor, unfortunately. 
as I've mentioned before, I haven't got enough storage on my laptop. So in the future, when I've got a good laptop, my videos will not be in two parts. I mean a cooking video will not be in two parts again. Alright then. If you like this if you think you like this tagine, have a go at making it. But wait for my I'll do the taste test when I come to eat it obviously. And I'll let you know how it tasted. And I'll be honest. If I found, if I found it horrible, I'll tell you. Alright then, I'm gonna say goodbye and shalom.